One of the things for which Toby Fox's games have stood out the most for an armies who aren't obsessed with finding or making up every tiny reference to Gaster, like us, is the soundtrack. Toby Fox's talent for composing has not only provided Undertale with some of the most iconic pieces of video game music, even as an indie game, but it has also led him to compose for a series known for its musical quality, like Pokemon, as we saw in both Sword and Seal and Scarlet and Violet. And what can I tell you, but the Battle Tower of the Terra Ray themes are one of the only things those games have going for them. Before lending his talent to Game Freak, Toby delighted us with the first two chapters of his forthcoming game, Deltarune. While we likely still have a few years to wait for its completion, the soundtrack alone makes it clear that his talent is as sharp as ever, and of course, he hasn't missed the opportunity to hide his little secrets within it. From the very beginning, everybody had focused on how Gaster's themes seem to have a significant influence all over Deltarune's soundtrack, and perhaps over the entire game. However, there's another piece of music which has been talked about a lot too, that has even a stronger presence throughout Deltarune, playing so many times that noticing it would be easy even for a deaf person. I'm talking about nothing more and nothing less than Don't Forget. When the light is running low And the shadows start to grow And the places that you know Seem like fantasy There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold With the truth, the promise in our hearts Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark How beautiful! This seemingly simple melody may at first seem confined to the credits of Deltarune's first chapter, but it isn't. As I've said before, and just like with Gaster's theme, Don't Forget permeates Deltarune from top to bottom, maybe even more deeply than the Royal Scientist theme. In the first chapter, we can hear its leitmotif in... There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold... Beginning... Fields of Hopes and Dreams Scarlet Forest The Wall Revolving
Dog check. Your power. Friendship. A town called hometown. And you can always come home. And in chapter 2 it has less presence, but we can still notice it in Faint Glow. The Dark Truth And in until next time, chapter choose credits.
If you want to clearly hear the Don't Forget Light motif, check out Media Motif's videos. I'll leave their links in the description. It's very curious that a theme that plays a prominent role in the credits, arguably the most noteworthy part for a developer, seems suspiciously absent from the rest of the game, until you realize that it's everywhere. But then, why has Toy Fox given so much importance for this specific leitmotif? Where have we read about Don't Forget before? Well, I think this will probably be the most rhetorical question I've ever asked on my channel, because I'm sure that more than one of you had Vietnam flashbacks as soon as you saw the Don't Forget in the thumbnail. But just in case someone doesn't know about it, Don't Forget is one of the most iconic and mysterious phrases from Undertale. Without going into too much spoiler, right after completing the, so to speak, mini side quest, in which we demonstrate to Sans that we are capable of time traveling by resetting using determination, he will say that it's time for us to know the truth, and give us the key to his room. In there, we'll find a silver key that opens his basement workshop. In it, we can contemplate some strange and incomprehensible blueprints and a seemingly broken and irreparable machine. And inside the drawers, we'll find a medal and a photo album of a happy sense with people Frisk doesn't recognize. However, if we have already completed the game, another photo will appear, with Frisk and the rest of the characters. And lastly, if we've already spoken to Clangwell and she's mentioned a certain Susie, only then we'll find a card with a very poor drawing of three people smiling and written on top, don't forget. Anyone who's delved even a little bit into Undertale's mysteries knows their immense importance in understanding W.D. Gaster and his possible relationship with Sans. Would Toby Fox really lazily reuse such an iconic phrase in a game that, as we've seen, was full of references to Gaster? With how obsessed the community is with the former royal scientist? I don't think it's a coincidence that those words suddenly regain so much relevance in Deltarune. I don't think it's accidental, especially when we're talking about Toby Fox, and even more when those are the very words he uses to sign off his tweet longer explaining what Deltarune is. But well, I don't think this is all new for you. Although maybe we can try to find out who has written that song in universe, and for whom. As we saw before, the lyrics of the song say, When the light is running low, and the shadows start to grow, and the places that you know seem like fantasy, there's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold, with the truth, the promise in our hearts. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. As is usual, and almost a bit tiresome with anything related to Undertale or Deltarune, yes, it all has a strong whiff of Gaster. The Growing Shadows could be a reference to entry number 17. Don't forget, as we've discussed, could come from Sans' workshop and its possible connection to Gaster. And the line, I'm with you in the dark, well, more of the same, it could allude to the scientists who vanish across time and space. But there's one paragraph in particular that I find the most intriguing, the central one, where it talks about a light within the soul of the song's receiver, which could perfectly be a human or a monster, but the next part is very, very interesting. Shining in the cold. So cold, huh? Well, well. Which one among all the places we've visited in Undertale and Deltarune is notably cold? One where there's snow? Leaving aside Noel and her snow wave route, as we'll consider that option in the future, it isn't exactly a place and has no apparent relationship with the words don't forget, unless something changes in future chapters of Deltarune. Exactly, Snowdin, where we can find Sans's workshop. Furthermore, the song describes the light shining in the coal with the truth, and it's impossible not to think it refers to the truth about Gaster's fate, and then it talks about the promise in our hearts, which could very well be the don't forget. With all this, and I believe for the millionth time in the community, everything seems to suggest that this song was written by Gaster, and it's a message to Sans, telling the skeleton that he's still there, not to forget about him, that he knows the truth. Would all this reinforce the theory that the caster is actually a good guy and the one about Sans being one of his two assistants? Out of all the possible options to choose from, among Chara, Frisk, Susie, Lancer, Rolsey, Chris and others, I find this one to be the most compelling. However, I explore an alternative interpretation to this song in the next video, one that will still tie back to our favorite skeleton and to the future of Deltarune. You never know with Toby Fox, and I'm sure that all these seemingly obvious clues will end up leading to a great plot twist that we haven't even imagined yet. 
But well, these are all theories and they remain a set. We'll have to wait until the game is fully released by the year 2300 to see if, as we all suspect, Gaster and his Don't Forget are the true connection between Undertale and Deltarune. Thank you very much for your time, and see you in the next video.